All right, so for today's video, I'm not gonna talk much. My voice is a little bit gone, um, but I'm gonna be working on the 2020 Shelby here. There's a couple small upgrades that I wanna do to it. I'm not gonna do a bunch of stuff to this car. I'm gonna leave it mostly stock, but I wanna add some carbon fiber pieces to it just because it is a carbon fiber track pack car. Um, I think it would look better with these couple pieces that I got, um, which I'll show you on the shelf quick, but I'm um, gonna try some different style of video to this also, and I'm um, trying on a new camera that I got. So we'll see how this one turns out. Let me know what you think, what you think down in the comments there. Um, but I'm gonna move it forward. I'll get a cold start on it because it, it is loud when you first start it up. But just to go over what pieces I'm doing, the, uh, the hood insert, heat extractor. Um, I have a carbon fiber, one of those. Carbon fiber mirror covers and the carbon fiber trunk filler panel piece that's in between there um, so just gonna change out those couple pieces those are all things that can be undone I'll keep them in a box on a shelf so if I ever wanted to change it back I could but those are pretty much the only things I'm gonna change with this car um, but I think it'll add to the look of the car with the carbon fiber against the white so uh, let's uh, start it up and get started <laughs> All right, so here's the end result. After change out just as a couple pieces there. The carbon fiber, it stands out a little bit more instead of blending in with the black stripes, it really breaks it up there. So I'm real happy with that. The mirrors, just trying to get rid of some of that gloss black um, just because of the stripes on it, kind of is just overpowering with the black. So I just wanted to add those 
little touches. And I think it looks a lot better. Also breaks up that stripe on the back end too by having that. And I also threw in rock blockers, which is what they told me about. Um, and I could see it as soon as I drove it in the parking lot, the rocks just go up in this little valley right here and catch on the rocker. Um, so just those couple changes is all I did. But that's pretty much, like I said, all I'm going to do to this car. I just want to enjoy it. I drove it over here to store it um, so I can film the rest of us here. I'm just going to take it out for a quick drive. So I'll fire it up catch some rolling shots of it and um, really get a little bit of experience behind the wheel on it. Just from driving it over here, um, I've never smiled as much driving a car. This is a total different experience from anything that I've ever driven. Um, just between old cars, even just new stuff that I have driven, um, I've driven new Coyote cars, nothing compares to what this is. I, I would just relate it to it just feels like you're driving like a supercar type of vehicle with the paddle shifters um, and how quick it just shifts. It's just ridiculous. So I'm going to hop in, fire it up, and take it for a spin. And with it being automatic, there is also remote start on it. So let's get a cold start of it. And I can actually film it being outside of the car. So let's see how it goes. going to take a lot of getting used to with these with this car in particular just all the different modes and changes that you can make to as far as the gauge cluster um, but obviously if you know the Shelby stuff you can change the exhaust sound um, by switching through the modes here normal sport which you can hear it tones different track uh, will be the loudest one um, and there's also quiet which makes it actually surprisingly quiet when you do that. Um, so I'm gonna go into sport, just for driving around the back roads here. Um, and I'm going to be in sport mode. Just by switching that, tells everything on the gauges. And um, that's pretty much it. I'll throw it in manual mode, click the shifters, cause it's just really fun. And um, just go for a little drive.
that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, I had a couple people from No Nonsense Know How. I have his green 67 coupe that I'm going to have some videos on shortly. Fixing the rust for him. If you haven't checked out his video on that car whenever he first got it, it's a pretty good informational video uh, if you're just watching on the details of what he's doing as he's fixing these things up. Um, he, he's very intelligent in fixing issues with these cars um, and that's on a 67 but those videos are coming and um, I hope you like this video I'm trying to really up the quality of the videos here try and get more working in it more action shots less talking um, just to try and make it more interesting sometimes I ramble on and on um, and another thing I thought of was that I put took window tint off so I gotta get the goo off the back window yet it's really tight in there but um, like I said, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Hit, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And uh, there's a bunch more videos coming. And some more on this. Some more on some other interesting cars. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks.